This film seems to be sort of part comic, part film and part video game. Was it always planned like that or were the comics like that or did it evolve sort of later in the planning of it all? Uh, the comics definitely kind of uh, have elements of like, you know, video game references and structure in them. And the idea is that the Scott Pilgrim as a character is, is somebody who has grown up playing video games and reading comics and watching Saturday morning cartoons. And it's slightly affecting his kind of, um, you know, re reality. So it was something that was in the books, but we definitely kind of expanded on it in the film. Was it hard finding a balance between the awesome fight scenes and the romance between Scott and Ramona? I guess so, but you know, as part of the challenge, that's one of the things that attracted me to the books is that it was a mix of like romantic comedy and kind of insane action was something that I found irresistible. With the comics having such quite, they've got a huge following and everything, did you have any pressure put, put on you to make the film and do you think you and the cast did the fans proud? I was very lucky in that I was had a sort of hotline to Brian Lee O'Malley who wrote the books and he was involved in the production kind of every step of the way. So it was easier to discuss things with him than it is to kind of try and answer all the fans of the book. So I kind of just ran everything past him and I was, you know, if he was happy, I was happy. Have you made any friends you would like to work with again? The cast on this film are amazing. And, you know, we, f we finished filming a year ago and we're all still really good friends. How much did the brilliance of the film do you actually owe to the co author of the comic books, Brian Lee O'Malley? I think it's like 90% um, me and 10% him. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> Maybe the other way around. Or the other way around, one of the two. The film, quite a lot of it looks like what, maybe not what would be happening, but what Scott sees happening in his head, like the way he wants it to. And did that... So was that an aim at saying how teenagers exaggerate everything? That's exactly what it's supposed to be. Is that uh, like, um, you know, is that idea of like sort of that, you know, at that age you tend to exaggerate. And even Scott as a kind of young man is like sort of, he's, uh, you know, he's very hormonal. He kind of either has huge highs or crashing lows. And like, you know, when you're dating at kind of that age, it's either like the best thing that's ever happened or the worst thing that's ever happened. And I think the, the film is kind of a reflection of that, of what your mind is at at that age, you know. Did you have any funny or embarrassing moments behind the scenes? I once, um, in an attempt to, I, I can do the splits, <laughs> but in doing the splits in front of the stunt crew, I completely ripped my jeans, <laughs> like so, and I had to go and get them stitched, stitched up by the costume department, so that was kind of embarrassing. I have not done the splits since. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Much. Good questions, very professional.